Hi, I'm Chef Susie with LearnToCook.com. And today I'm going to be making popcorn balls, which are a Halloween favorite. We're going to be putting our ingredients in the saucepan, gently warming it on the stove to melt everything together, and then we're just going to be tossing the popcorn in, and then it's ready to be formed into balls. Very easy. So knowing that, we're going to be putting our powdered sugar, our mini marshmallows, our butter, our corn syrup, and a little bit of water. And we're just going to be mindful to keep a close eye on this on the stove so it doesn't get too hot because we're just melting it and we want to be careful not to scorch it. I'm using a skillet so I have a wider surface to work with and it's going to be a little bit easier for me to keep an eye on this, especially on the bottom of the pan. So I have a medium flame and I'm just carefully stirring to make sure none of the ingredients are scorching as we go along. Okay, now all of the ingredients are melted. They're well incorporated. We're going to take the whole skillet over to the table to finish this off. So we're going to be adding our popcorn that we made earlier. It's just plain popcorn that we popped on the stove. And we're just going to carefully mix this in. Now that the mix has had a chance to cool off just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and form the popcorn balls. I have a little bit of pan spray. I'm going to go ahead and put on my hands. This, this is going to help so this mixture doesn't stick to my hands while I'm rolling. And we're just going to make these just a little bit bigger than the size of a baseball or the size of a baseball. And you don't want to press them together too firmly. So you want it to be a little bit loose so you can go ahead and bite into it. You don't want it to be really dense. So you're really just kind of forming the circle. So once your popcorn balls have cooled off, you can wrap them up in plastic or just so serve them in a bowl or a dish for your family and friends. And these I'm just gonna kind of stack up in a deep bowl. And they're a little sticky so you can get them to stack up nicely. And thanks for joining me today at LearnToCook.com, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Well, thanks for joining us today at LearnToCook.com. Be sure to comment and to subscribe. Also, visit us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day, and thank you.